All right, today's video, I'm going to talk about the one idea that really changed my life. All right, and this is part of the 100 videos in 100 uh, days series from December all the way through March. And our aim is to just try and get as many people as we can to stop drinking alcohol. Boys, are you ready? Let's go out for a walkies. Now, stay. Good boys. For me, there was just a lot of years when I knew that alcohol wasn't doing me any good. You know, I knew that alcohol was, uh, was killing parts of my life, but I always saw myself as a drinker. You know, I always saw myself as, um, as somebody who drank alcohol, as somebody who had alcohol in their life, specifically for me, Guinness. That was one of the, the, the parts of it. Uh, and it really was something that um, kept me trapped for years and years. It's really your, um, your beliefs that fuel your thoughts. Um, it's your thoughts that, you know, where you get your ideas from. And it's your ideas and those thoughts and the way you look at the world, which is going to uh, really determine the direction that you take in your life. And that was part and parcel for me of what I was doing you know I was a drinker I believed I was a drinker um, and I always was a drinker uh, I always would be a drinker I mean that's part and parcel of of what I thought about myself you know I, you know I tried moderation for many years uh, I tried all different types of moderation you know there wasn't just one type of moderation that I tried it was uh, I tried moderating the amounts I was drinking tried moderating the days that I was drinking uh, I tried quitting drinking alcohol for short periods of time you know maybe a week at a time or a month um i don't think i did much longer than that i think the the most i ever did before i stopped permanently was 11 months uh no 10 months 10 months and a few days and that was because i was stopped drinking and driving got my license taken off me and yeah, i had no real choice in the matter but to do that um but for most of my life for most of my 30 years drinking i just kept poisoning myself and I kept drinking and drinking and poisoning poisoning not only myself but my life everything about it now I eventually stopped drinking alcohol because of my son um, and it comes down to that belief again that changing of belief my belief changed because or my actions changed because my beliefs about myself changed and the idea suddenly dawned on me that I was responsible or partially responsible for my son's drinking and therefore um, my thinking changed uh, and my beliefs changed and my actions changed and it wasn't until that happened that I actually stopped doing the poison but the reality was that it was the pain motivation that kept me going through the first few weeks of the journey um, and it wasn't really that I wanted to stop drinking alcohol. I felt like I had to stop drinking alcohol. And there's a big difference in that. But the one idea that really took over, uh, the one idea that really saved my life, I think, was that I didn't have to drink alcohol anymore, that I didn't need alcohol for uh, as a crutch. I didn't need alcohol to, um, to live my life. I didn't need alcohol for relaxation. I certainly didn't need alcohol to socialize. Um, I didn't need alcohol in any way, shape or form in my life. And it wasn't until I got that idea in my head. It wasn't until I experienced certain things. You know, you'll go through life and there's certain lessons in life that you say to yourself, well, that was a simple lesson, but it was a simple lesson because you had to learn something else before you could cop onto that. You know, you had to experience something. You had to go through a certain experience before you could understand that as a simple lesson. Because before you experienced a certain thing or before you knew a certain part of yourself or a certain piece of knowledge, that simplicity is not simple. You know, it only becomes simple because you, you have a, a previous experience of it. I hope I'm making myself clear on that one. It's... The, the fact that you don't need alcohol for anything, um, 
the fact that you you need alcohol or the the idea the belief that you need alcohol is all fueled by fear it's fueled by your fear of yourself it's fueled by your fear fear of um of not being able to live your life without alcohol it's fueled by your fear of missing out on alcohol it's fueled by your fear of who you are and who you're going to be when you stop drinking alcohol and that fear of um you've no experience of it um expectations play a huge part because you've got no experience in it your your expectations are very low you know your expectations about how to live your life without alcohol are very low and that's what fuels it that's what fuel fuels your fear and it's until you step across that line and it can take months before you can get to this stage but until you step across that line it's very difficult to um to understand that simple truth so difficult to understand that simple idea that you do not need alcohol in any way shape or form that alcohol is actually the one thing that has been killing your life so really if you want to get to the best possible version of yourself if you want to get to the best possible version of your life within if you want to get to the best possible version of yourself within that life then stopping drinking alcohol is the first part you know and get into that best possible version of yourself is it's the journey it's not the end there is no goal in this you know you're moving towards trying to um ultimately live the best life that you can possibly live but it's not a goal you know it's not a goal that any of us is going to attain because as soon as you get to a certain version then th there's always a moving forwards so it's like seeking out perfection but never get in there um if you want help to stop drinking alcohol we've got our course uh, there's a link down below this video that you can find that um it's over on the website habitsv2.com um and it's basically to give you some clarity about where you're going um to give you confidence that you can do this and to build the courage that you can you can get there and i'll say it again you know um your beliefs are going to fuel your thoughts which in turn are going to direct your actions um and all of this you know your ideas come from your beliefs if you change your beliefs then you can change your directions you can change any of your directions and that's really one of the things that has uh changed my life beyond belief for me you know um i mean people outside of myself look look at me and say well i don't know why you didn't do do this years ago or you know they can't what the people can't see if you're a drinker it's very difficult to see how stopping drinking alcohol doing this one thing just removing this one thing from your life can really alter your life for for good so i'm going to leave it there for today anyway take care of yourself like i said if you haven't taken this course already then click on the link down below the video and you can get that it's absolutely free just go over to the website leave your name and email address and i'll send it out to you straight away so take care of yourself keep the alcohol out of your mouth onwards and upwards bye now